This is Steve from SewingGold.com, and a customer asked us uh, to sh make a video on how to change the presser feet set on this Juki DU1181N. Um, this video will work for a typical um, GC6-6, Taxo GC6-6, and the Conso 205RB. Um, so what, I'm, what I've done here is I've turned the power off on our machine, which is always a good idea when you're going anywhere near the needle. I've also removed the needle, so we have no needle in here. Um, I've put the presser foot up, so this is down. I've put the presser foot up to make it a little easier to take this off. Now I'm going to grab the screwdriver here and loosen this screw. Now you may need a bigger screwdriver than the one that comes with the machine because the screw is somewhat tough. All right. Okay. And that is the inside foot. I'm going to put that to the side. Okay, I'm going to pause this and come around and do the other screw. Okay, I'm going to do the other screw. Same thing, you may need a stronger screwdriver. Our floor model, we've taken the presser feet on and off a few times. Okay, so now I am going to install a zipper foot. So I'm going to do the outside foot first. So what I've done here is I'm coming from the inside and then just sliding it up. Make sure it's all the way up. And I'm still holding it up, of course. You can see with my right hand while I'm screwing this in. Okay, I've got that one on. Now I'm going to do the inside foot. And I will pause it and come around so you can see that. All right, so now we're going to get this inside foot in. So it's hard to see with my hand there. Let me see if I could do this with getting a little bit. So I'm going to press it over this the inside foot here, or the outside foot, sorry. Press it over it, and then I'm going to hold it in place. I grab my screw. Just so I can see where the screw is. I'm going to get it started by hand, and then once I get it all the way, then I'll grab the screwdriver and tighten it up. It should line up fine without having to mess around with any sort of positioning. Okay, so now I've got that zipper foot set on. So now put that down, thread it back up, put a needle in there, power on, and you're ready to go. Um, if you need to change it into a piping foot set, any of these different presser feet sets, you could use the same directions uh, to take the other feet off, like taking these, this set off and then putting back on the regular set or like I said, piping feet, edge guide feet, they all go on the same way. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave comments below. Um, I'm Steve from SewingGold.com. Thank you.